Okay, so I have some excited people responding to my videos talking about how we can't digest fiber. So there is something called the microbiome. It's the trillions of microbes that live in and on our bodies, um, mostly in our large intestine. So the fiber, yes, true, does pass through most of our body, gets to our small intestine, and these microbes go to work. And the amazing thing about this process is when they break down the fiber, we actually make good products like short chain fatty acids, which help lower inflammation. They help um, balance our mood, help um, support our metabolism, and the list goes on and on and on. When we don't feed those microbes with a diversity of fiber, then the they lean towards unhealthy. And the unhealthy microbes can produce things like TMAO, which are directly toxic to blood vessels to our heart tissue, increases inflammation throughout our body. So whoever it is who keeps telling me to study more, uh, I'll just point out that I am triple board certified. I've been practicing medicine for close to 30 years. I am certified in pediatrics, critical care, lifestyle medicine, plant-based nutrition, culinary coaching. I read and study and do um, additional education every year, always adding more to my knowledge. So I encourage you to um, check out a journal, maybe Nature. Um, you can look at some, something called the Human Microbiome Project, where a lot of this information was you know, uh, studied in detail. Uh, there's population data, thousands of years of population data um, that demonstrate the connection between um, what we eat and our health. Um, if you want to look at the health of modern society, specifically here in the United States, that feeds this diet that you're promoting with low in fiber, uh, higher incidence of cancer, higher incidence of type 2 diabetes, heart disease, um, mental illness, uh, dementia, um, and the list goes on and on and on. So I've done my research and uh, it's pretty clear. <laughs>